The Associated Press released its top 25 today. Duke is the top pick for a record tying nine times. Kentucky will start the season four picks behind that. The Wildcats are behind the Blue Devils, Michigan State, Arizona, and Kansas. There are three SEC teams total in the top 25, including number eight Florida and Texas A&M at 25. Kentucky will play six of the teams in the top 25 this season. Aside from the Gators and Aggies, they'll take on number four Kansas, 11th ranked West Virginia, Louisville 16th and number 21 UCLA. The Cats season begins November 10th at home against Utah Valley State. A Kentucky's final preseason exhibition game will come Friday night against Center College. The last time the two teams met, a 47 to 11 UK victory back in 1929. Alan Cutler, I'm sure, covered that one. Now, this time, Dorian Kraft went to Danville to check in with the Colonels. Well, while Alan Cutler may have been at that game in 1929, he probably wasn't at the one back in 1910. That is when Kentucky suffered their worst loss in program history, an 87-17 defeat at the hands of Central University. That's before Central and Center merged to become what is now known as Center College. All-time Center has a record of 9-7 and seven against Kentucky, including those wins from back when they were Central. Head coach Greg Mason joked with me that they merged and it all went down from there, but he doesn't look at this game as any sort of a renewal of a rivalry. Last 10 years, uh, a good argument that he's had the best program in college basketball at any level. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm really excited. It's going to be a great experience. Lived in Kentucky my whole life, so I mean, you always hear about Kentucky. You wanted to play at Rupp. It's always a dream as a kid. Yeah, I'm just through the roof excited. Um, you know, Kentucky's one of the like top five programs in the nation, and uh, I think Coach said it best. You know, we're like the luckiest D3 team this week for sure, uh, being able to play. A team like Kentucky and you know the guys are just so excited. The energy and practice has definitely been on the rise this, this week. We played in the NCAA tournament. We won conference titles, and nothing, nothing like the lead up to this. So Mason is so used to being inundated by Kentucky fans out here in Danville. He told me he's not even sure if his own mother-in-law is cheering for Center. But the way that he looks at it, nobody has to pick sides. It's a win for Center for the exposure. It's a win for Kentucky because they get the practice. So for everybody. It's a win-win. In Boyle County, Dorian Kraft, LEX 18 Sports. Thank you, Dorian. The SEC coaches released predictions for the women's upcoming season. No surprise, South Carolina is the top pick. Kentucky is sixth after finishing 11-5 last season. UK junior guard Taylor Murray was also a second-team All-SEC selection. Kentucky football hosts Mississippi Saturday at 4, a win, and it would be the fastest to seven wins since the 1977 Wildcats. And when the depth chart came out this week, there was a change at cornerback. Junior college transfer Lonnie Johnson was ahead of junior Chris Westry. Johnson talked about that today, about how he was patient to get his turn. None, nothing comes easy, so I mean, I just worked for it and uh, just got better as the season went on. And I told you in the beginning, I'm compete coming off the bench like I was a starter, so that's what I've been doing all season and trying to make plays, and coaches took notice of that. Sixth ranked UK volleyball hosted fourth ranked Florida, and well, the Florida Gators got a little paybacks against Kentucky, winning this one three zip. Game seven of the World Series, and Houston Astros right now leading it. Five to one. They got all five runs in the first two innings. LEX 18 News. We'll be right back.